The much-anticipated Game of Thrones spin-off has begun, and I figured we'd do a video about House of the Dragon. But we're not going to talk about the entire episode on this episode of Just the Tip. I need to stop saying that before it becomes a thing. We're going to be talking about Emma's birth scene. I've got so much to say about it, so strap yourselves in. We're in for a long one. That's what she said! <laughs> before we begin, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot, and you can always unsubscribe further down the line if you don't like where I'm posting. It's free, and no hard feelings. It's showtime, folks. Where do we start? Well, Emma was given birth, but it wasn't going well, and she was going to die. So Viserys made the decision to rip the kid out of her, in the hope of still getting an heir. But it didn't go as planned. Now this scene was so visceral and powerful that I had to block the screen with my hand. It was as if I was a teenage girl watching a horror film. Not that I've seen many teenage girls watch horror films, I, I promise I'm not a nonce. It was incredibly hard to watch. Even if she was going to die, he chose to save the baby for completely selfish reasons without any regard for his wife. She dies horribly and confused and terrified, and Viserys was the one who ordered it. Of course, to save the child, but the least he could have done is consulted her. Or even at the very least, he could have told her what was happening. She was quickly pulled down and they started slicing her stomach. Emma died scared and confused. It must have been absolutely terrifying. And after all that, the baby didn't even survive. Then on top of all that, Matt Smith casually referring to it as air for the day. Wow. Just wow, powerful stuff. Game of Thrones is back and it's as good as ever. Now, one thing I can't help but think about is... Is Viserys redeemable? We saw him essentially murder his wife in cold blood, but we are meant to see more of this guy over the course of the next nine episodes. So will we be able to see him as anything other than a killer? He helped to hold her down as she was sliced open and his son was pulled out. I'd say he was a participant in a murder, or even execution. Having said that, she was going to die anyway, but... Still, the point still stands. In universe, it's often repeated how the birthing bed is a battlefield of women. High or low, they are disposable. They're there to be used for the good of the house. Which is empathised here by intercutting Emma's death with Damon's duel with Criston. Viserys ordered his wife to sacrifice her life against their explicit consent. To satisfy his own pride, which was having a male heir. Pretty clear-cut murder, if you ask me. He sacrificed her for his perceived greater good, the same way he would have sacrificed some conscripted small folk to die cruelly on some distant battlefield. Clearly he feels bad about it, but is there enough? I don't think so. She was going to die regardless of his decision, but he took away her agency in how it would happen and forced her to die scared and confused. I thought Viserys was the most compelling character in the episode, but I'll never be able to like him after seeing that. It's worth noting that Emma had had many miscarriages before this scene. The book Fire and Blood blamed her miscarriages on the fact that she was wedded and bedded far too young. So that's probably it. She was only 12 when Viserys consummated their marriage. It, it makes sense why the baby died. Now the second thing that I wanted to talk about was that look that the maester was given when he was holding the baby. No doubt he's plotting some unsavoury anti-magic maester mischief. Or perhaps he's just scared that Viserys will lose it and feed him to a dragon. It's also possible that the maester had an odd look because of the circumstances. Yes, the king finally has a male heir, but the queen just died a horrible death for that. So he's unsure how to feel about it all. The baby was born relatively quiet and started making suckling noises after which the maester gave him that look. So either the noises were a sign he wasn't healthy, which would make sense given the history of stillbirths, or the maester did something. Pretty soon after this, we cut to the reveal that the baby died, which, whilst powerful, did feel a little bit rushed. When a long-awaited male heir is finally born at the cost of his mother's life, you don't just give people one frame of the baby and the next thing we see is he is dead as well. It feels like there is something missing between his birth and his death. Having said that, doing it this way was 
Really, it was gut punching. We saw that his mother's death was all in vain, but maybe it's just because I didn't want to see a newborn baby die on screen. Maybe that's why I understand that they did it this way. Perhaps a line from the maester who holds him saying, oh no, with Viserys' worrying face or something, maybe that would have helped it along. Just transition from the baby being alive to baby being dead. I don't know, maybe. Now, we need to quickly address the maester conspiracy. There's been a theory for a long time that the maesters killed the final dragons to eradicate magic from Westeros. They were the ones who took down the Targaryens. So is it possible that they did something to kill a child? They're working secretly to bring everything down? Perhaps that accounts for why we didn't see the baby's death. Maybe we're going to go back to it and see that the fella did something? I don't know, it's possible. What do you think? Let me know if you think we're going to go back to this. And what your other thoughts on the episode were as well. Did anyone else feel like this was a bit like when you see your old school again? Years after you've left, if you ever find yourself back there, nothing quite looks the same, and yet you have loads of little memories. Over there by the gates on the playground where you used to hang out with your mates every day. You see the canteen and you remember all your memories there. It was a bit like that. Seeing the balcony where Tommen jumped off after Marjorie died. Seeing King's Landing. And yet all I could think of when I was seeing it was of Daenerys flying over it on a dragon. Killing everyone. Mercilessly. We even got a reference to Winterfell. All the places are the same. It's just something isn't right. Maybe it is that feeling of when you're removed from a place for a certain amount of time. And then return to it. And things just aren't quite right. Maybe that's where it is. I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Hopefully someone smarter than me in the comments can figure it out. Did anyone else also think that Emma D'Arcy's character... Emma Darcy, I'm not sure what her name is. She looked a tiny bit like Daenerys. Like I was getting Daenerys vibes whenever we cut to her. So that helped with the spooky feeling I was getting from the show. It's like Game of Thrones, but something's missing. Whether or not, as the show goes on, they'll find the feats. And we'll forget that we're just watching a prequel. I don't know. But something's not quite right about it that I can't figure out. But I love the scene with Emma's birth. I do think it's going to be one of the standout scenes of the season. And the fact that it was intercut with Matt Smith fighting. Showing how different men and women are treated in this world. I, I just thought it was spectacular. Matt Smith isn't coming out this season without an Emmy or something. I'm not sure if the Emmys are still on. But he's going to get an award for something. I've always known he could act, even back in the Doctor Who days. Did you know he was only 23 when he started playing the Doctor? I was in school when he was announced, and everyone was talking about how young he was, and I was like, he's not that young, he's still a grown man. 23 is not a grown man. I'm 26, and... Oh, I feel old. But 23 is so much younger, it's madness. But yeah, Matt Smith is spectacular, and I can't wait to see more of him as the show goes on. Like I said, please leave a like and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe or a later date if you don't like where I'm posting. It's completely free and no hard feelings if you want to leave. I really do appreciate you watching this video. Like I said, in the comments below, tell me what your theories are on where the show is going. And did you enjoy this episode? I know I did. Alright, we'll leave it there. Bye folks.